Hello everyone, welcome to Mars and Cantina again. Now the funny thing is that last month I went and I didn't know when I was going to finish editing and I finished editing yesterday, which means that that video went live the day before the new show, which is uh, pretty pathetic. But anyway, I'm still working through that whole not wanting to edit thing, but I still love shooting the show, so I still keep coming. And when we talk about parking lot gold over here, not really much to see, so we're going to end up going right over there to the road and see if we can get some people running into the show. Uh, Mustang action right there. Yeah. RSX. And we wild looking Camaro, but hey, an even wilder looking Huracan. Cheap in. Some type R action. Always cool. Those things sound awesome. Oh yeah, Ford GT baby. Some of that Mustang action, always good. Sounding great. A Ferrari. Yeah, you can't beat a V12. Anyway, we're getting close to the show. There's a bunch of music over there that I don't want to have to talk over. So uh, we're gonna check it out and see what we can see. I made a list in my head the cars that I want to shoot, so I wonder if I'm going to be successful or not in finding them. Let's go. Sitting lonely in my room again, I'm trying to find the words to say, but nothing comes out. I am looking for the better day You seem like they just stay away whenever I try There's so many things that I keep in my mind My friends keep me out and it hurts every time With all the emotions I built up inside Oh, why can't I? Will someone look for me if I disappear? No matter how much that I scream, nobody hears But I see the light from far away, it's down the line Maybe I should not give up without a fight Cause there will be a time oh, oh. Sitting lonely in my room again Acting like I'm innocent Why do I try? Cause now I'm feeling like a fool again Thinking I can fool myself by telling me lies When there's so many things that I keep in my mind I hang around people I don't even like If they can be happy and walk with a smile Oh why can't I? Will someone look for me if I disappear? No matter how much that I scream, nobody hears But I see the light from far away, it's down the line Maybe I should not give up without a fight Cause there will be a time oh, oh.
over here. I see you, brother. I see you. Well, well, well. Uh, we're back in the car. Uh, today was uh, swimming time. It was cooler, but it was also very, very muggy. So it actually felt more miserable than the last time where it was just hot. Oh goodness, man, I cannot wait until the temperatures really take a nosedive and we don't have to deal with any of this stuff anymore. Winter time is definitely my favorite time. I should say winter time, when it gets too cold, it's not fun either, but you know, give me those 70s temperatures, man. All day, that's gonna be great for me. Just a little bit of overcast, no rain, that would be the best for the great shots. Now, let's talk about the show. I was very much surprised by the outcome. So many people out there, there was kind of a threat of rain in the forecast a week ago when you look at the, the week ahead. It was like rain everywhere and go, okay, well, I guess the show is gonna be canceled uh, or not a lot of people are gonna go. But as time progressed, luckily, the rain started to disappear. So the spots ended up full and we had a full house. Now, favorite of show. Um, it's kind of weird how I'm going to a BMW again because this one was kind of hidden was not part of the plan to shoot that one but you know I was walking around and you see something and you go cool it's an E28 and then you look a little bit closer and there's an M5 badge on it and you go ooh that's the daddy that's the original which is really really cool really cool so I had to take some shots and that for me personally is gonna be my favorite show Honorable mention is gonna to go to the Galaxy 500. People are sleeping on those big Fords. I've said it before, because I've shot it at the fueled up meet, so I had to shoot it again this time because the owner actually did some interior work on it, and it looks a whole lot more deeper red than it did last time I saw it. And I just love those old cars, man. They, they have the soul, the soul. That's a candidate, but of course, if you've watched my Instagram, I post something about the Monte Carlo, and I think out of all the cars, that is my absolute 100% favorite car of all time when it comes down to classics. That one just keeps, I keep coming back to it for some reason. And ever since I saw the Fast and Furious, because of course, that's the reason why I, it really got on my radar, Tokyo Drift. I just, I'm like, dude, uh, that, is the epitome of the gentleman's muscle car for me. It is big, you have a lot of room under the hood, and I would just love to have one of those and just daily drive it. Maybe do a rattle campaign job, make it look kind of like the Fast and Furious one until you know you get some body work done. And then, I don't know the color wise, I think, you know, I want to do kind of like the Landau top, but they rust underneath, so that's the problem. You know, you can't. You're going to be afraid to drive it in the rain because it's going to be rust inside, and I just, I just don't want to deal with that. So it's probably going to be like, maybe you just have a painted black top and then uh, have a, a dark green metallic and then a black interior. Of course, AC and the ultimate. But if you're talking about the ultimate, then of course a, a freaking big block under the hood with a six-speed manual, of course, and nice gears in the back, uh, so you can actually cruise it. Fuel injection, you can cruise it on the highway. Don't get completely horrible gas mileage. How about a 632 cubic inch, and then lower compression so you can run 87 octane. You don't have to worry about finding gas anywhere. Yeah, less power, but you're not gonna win races against these EVs anyway in these high horsepower cars, so why, you know, why well, have to pay for expensive gas when you're still going to be able to, you're still going to be losing, right? So, yeah, yeah, something like that. I think that would be the ultimate dream, but it needs to start somewhere and it's going to probably start with an utter basket case that I'm going to be nursing to health. And that's really what I'm going to do with my channel is it's like get an old car, have my friend D Corvette Ben, who also has a YouTube channel, who works on the classic cars for a living, help me out paid of course because you don't take advantage of friends like that and and we're that would be the coolest thing ever you know he has a full shop so you know he has lifts and all that stuff so he can uh, he can really be uh, be my teacher I guess because I know stuff but I don't know how to wrench properly and he would be the perfect instructor and of course like I said I'll be paying him for it because you do not take advantage of friends like that if they have their business their time is valuable and you have to pay them for that and that's it. So that's the future, that's that's what I really, really want. So yeah, anyway, Ascends. 
some great sense out there. Of course, Steve Spiegel View is out there. That's another honorable mention, actually. The AE86, the Hachiroku. That is a very cool car. Like, out of the stuff from the 80s, that is one of the ones that I really like. Of course, I like the Celica Super 2, the wide body, the, the P-Type. I guess it's not the wide body, but it's a factory wide body, so it's it, it's kind of cool. I, I really love that. But anyway, he came by with the freaking Hachiroku and the RX-7, and they just kind of like a complete wolf pack of cars. I freaking loved it. I hope that shot came out right, because uh, it's it's freaking amazing seeing those cars all come together and just drive by. Great. There's one bike, though. Dude, I don't know how fast he was going, but, dude... Dude, that is way too much. And there was actually also a cop that started posting up up here. So, you know, you, you can go a little bit faster, but just don't don't take the entire hand. You know, take the, take the two fingers, take one finger, two fingers, but don't take the entire hand because as soon as you do that, cops are going to be here, shut everything down, and then all the fun's gone. You know, you don't want that. And if you want to get on speed, like, get on the freaking tollway, you know, because people up there are driving faster, are going faster than uh, over here on the service road. So it'd be a whole lot safer and there's also no side streets like this is a side street if someone's an idiot and pulls out you know because i've seen some stupid stuff over there for sure anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video the outtakes are coming up don't know when this is coming up going online i really wonder if i'm gonna be a month again but you know better late than ever because the june video is still not up Oh, goodness. I should, like, try to edit that sometime and just put it up, like, towards the end of the year. Maybe if I miss a show because of rain, and then I just put that one in. Hey, it doesn't forget it. Forget it, show it, the show that I didn't edit. Here you go. Anyway, I'm rambling again. That's what I always end up doing. I'm going to head up home, take a shower, chill, maybe do a little bit of editing, check out the footage. And like I said, outtakes are coming up. You guys take care, and uh, I'll see you on the flip side.